welcome to homecampus.com.sg let's solve this word problem it says that an led tv costs five thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars when paid by cash up front if alex buys the led tv payable over 60 monthly installments of 108.31 dollars each how much more than the cash price does the led tv cost him give your answer correct to the nearest dollar all right so there are a few things which are that the cost of the led tv is 5849 if paid by cash up front okay and if you choose to pay by monthly installments then there are 60 monthly installments each 108.31 dollars okay and what we have to find out is if alex chose to pay by 60 monthly installments then how much more than the cash price did he have to pay for the led tv and we have to give the answer correct to the nearest dollar all right so let's uh, go in order let's first find out how much the led tv cost him okay all right so let's suppose that this is how much the led tv cost alex okay that's how much he paid for the led tv so this is the cost that he paid for the led tv let's paint it in uh, blue so this is led tv paid by monthly installments okay all right and each installment was 108 dollars and 31 cents so we'll put that down and there are 60 of these okay so if this is the first installment then this one is the 60th installment right and each is 108.31 dollars so if each installment is 108.31 dollars then what's the total of all installments added together well all the installments added together would be 60 times 108.31 right we'll find out what that is but before that let's also put down the cost of the led tv when paid by cash okay now when paid by cash it certainly has to be lesser than when paid by monthly installments so we're going to make this block smaller okay so this is led tv paid by cash all right and let's put some color in this say pink and this we know is equal to five thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars so this is five thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars and what we have to find out is how much this is equal to right which is the difference between the installment price and the cash price okay so this is what we have to find out all right first let's find out what 60 times 108.31 is equal to well i'm going to use a calculator for that and i'll do 108.31 times 60 and that's six thousand four hundred and ninety eight dollars and sixty cents okay six four nine eight point six so this is six four nine eight point six zero so it's six thousand four hundred and ninety eight dollars and sixty cents all right so then how much is this equal to very straightforward all you have to do is subtract this amount okay the pink amount from the blue amount and you'll get the difference between the two okay so this block over here which is this guy over here right all right so six thousand four hundred and ninety eight dollars and sixty cents minus five thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars and zero cents well, that's equal to sixty cents here and then you borrow one this becomes eight eighteen minus nine is nine eight minus four is four then you borrow one here this becomes five 14 minus 8 is 6 and this is 0 so this guy is equal to 649 dollars and 60 cents 
All right, so how much more than the cash price did the LED TV cost Alex? Well, it cost $649.60 more. Now, that's not the end of it. What we have to find out now is we have to give our answer correct to the nearest dollar. All right, now giving the answer correct to the nearest dollar means rounding it off to the nearest dollar. So when you're rounding off a certain amount of money to the nearest dollar, what it means is that you don't care about the cents part, okay? So you don't care about any of the decimal places. All you care about is what the dollar amount is equal to or what the dollar part, the whole number dollar part is equal to, right? So you only care about everything to the left of the decimal point and everything to the right of the decimal point can be dropped. But before you drop all these decimal places, you must round off, okay? Now, since the first place after the decimal point, okay, this first decimal place is six, which means it's more than five this dollar amount this whole number part of the dollar amount must be rounded up so all you do is you add one to 649 now when you add one to 649 what do you get well what you get is you get six hundred and fifty dollars so six hundred and forty nine point six zero when rounded off to the nearest dollar or when corrected to the nearest dollar is equal to six hundred and fifty dollars so that's the answer, $650. All right, that's that about this word problem. For more word problems, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. At this website, you can also see how good you're getting at math. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.